There's a question I want to pose to all of you, and that is, what are you living for? This is a profound question, and I know it's not easy to answer. But at the same time, it's a matter of great significance in our lives, because if we don't have a specific and clear answer, we can easily fall into a state of confusion, lack of direction, and susceptibility to external influences. So, in today's video, we will share with you some inspirational insights from Stoicism to help you find the purpose of your life. First, perhaps we need to seek an answer to the question, what is value? Value is a concept with multiple layers of meaning, but the value of life here is not about whether it's expensive or cheap, abundant or scarce. It's about what is most profound in your inner life. Marcus Aurelius once said, the happiness of those who want to be popular depends on others. The happiness of those who seek pleasure fluctuates with moods outside their control. But the happiness of the wise grows out of their own free acts. Explaining this statement, Marcus Aurelius used it to distinguish three different types of happiness, each depending on a different factor. The happiness of those who seek fame is when they are recognized and praised by others. They often use the opinions and judgments of others as a measure of their own happiness. However, this dependence on others makes them vulnerable, and all their joys and sorrows fluctuate based on how others perceive them. Secondly, Marcus Aurelius talks about the kind of people who seek happiness through pleasure. They view their happiness as being in fulfilling immediate, fleeting desires. Naturally, this means that their happiness is never stable, easily influenced by external circumstances and unexpected events. Lastly, the happiness of the wise, according to Marcus Aurelius, comes from knowing that happiness should not depend on others or on satisfying momentary desires. True happiness arises from actions done by one's own will, from the freedom to choose and decide independently. They don't let external factors control them. Instead, they create happiness from within, from their own selves. Through this statement, Marcus Aurelius advises us to seek happiness through responsible and free living. He asserts that true happiness is in our hands, created through our actions and decisions, stemming from deep within our inner selves rather than relying on others or the ever-changing circumstances of life. When individuals have a clear understanding of the source of their happiness, their mindset becomes more positive. They love life more, cherish life more, and also love themselves more. Have you ever heard the saying, loving yourself is the beginning of a lifelong romance? Each of our lives has people coming and going. However, we often find ourselves trapped in a cycle of pouring our emotions into others and forgetting about ourselves. And then, when that person leaves, our lives plummet into their worst state. For this very reason, I want to offer some advice to my audience. Before you invest your emotions in someone else, learn to love yourself first. And after the person you love departs, don't be too saddened. If I could, I would like to keep everyone by my side forever, never having to say goodbye. But I also understand that in this vast journey of life, there are meetings and partings, and the old must make way for the new. Fate moves in mysterious ways, and those who are meant to leave will depart. As long as we treat everyone with genuine affection, each encounter in our lives becomes a reason for us to grow. Similar to what Marcus Aurelius once said, Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. When you hear this quote from the Roman Emperor, do you grasp its profound meaning? Firstly, this quote reminds us of the importance of learning to accept our fate. Fate is an element of life that we cannot control, and sometimes it presents challenges and difficulties that we cannot avoid. However, Instead of trying to evade or complain about unwanted changes, Marcus Aurelius advises use to learn how to embrace them. Embracing one's fate will build resilience and is a crucial factor that helps individuals overcome challenges and continue to evolve in life. Secondly, the philosopher encourages us to love the people that fate brings into our lives. Even though they may leave at any moment in our lives, unexpectedly as they arrived, if they can bring us joy, lessons, and empathy, then we should not hesitate to offer them our genuine affection. Loving others with sincerity is an important part of a happy and meaningful life. This can be manifested through respect, support, 
and sharing both joys and sorrows with those around us. Lastly, this quote sets a high standard for approaching life with full-hearted sincerity. It emphasizes practicality and emotional depth in the way we live. Instead of merely going through the motions, we should do everything with enthusiasm and passion stemming from our souls, as this is how true spiritual richness is created and an ideal life is formed. If you have followed our previous videos, you'll likely be aware of a message I've reiterated many times. Learning, self-improvement, and personal development, fostering a mindset of progress. Because along with happiness, real growth is a highly essential way of living. And this sense of value in life originates from an awareness that all of us will change over time. Whether it's 5 years, 10 years, or 20 years from now, we will all be significantly different from who we are today. But, what matters is how different we become, and that is entirely up to our own choices. So, will we become stronger, more skilled, and happier? I can reveal to you that the answer to this question will depend on all of our behaviors and thoughts over the course of those 5, 10, or 20 years. For me, development is a natural driving force of life, just like a seed planted in the ground. With the right conditions, enough sunlight, air, and water, it will grow tall without hesitation or fear. I believe that each of us can be like those seeds, capable of growing and developing without fear. We need to constantly remind ourselves that within each of us lies a sky full of potential. If we are willing to train and learn, that potential will turn into capability. And then, we will be able to achieve things that we cannot do right now. This is also why people with a progressive mindset have a very different attitude and perspective on life compared to the majority of people in the outside world. Besides developing good habits like reading, writing, meditation and more, those with a progressive mindset also reevaluate the challenges they have to face. Even though life becomes increasingly challenging and people carry more responsibilities than ever before, I believe that as long as we carry a mindset that's ready to confront and overcome obstacles, we will become more skilled confident, and resilient. In truth, during the initial period of adopting this progressive mindset, we may find these beliefs illogical. However, I can confidently affirm that as long as you persist through the initial difficulties, you will eventually see that this mindset is incredibly justified. Regarding the final value that I want to share in today's journey, perhaps it is the ultimate goal that I aim for in life and that is freedom. The freedom I'm referring to here is not just about physical freedom in terms of space and time, or the freedom to go anywhere and do anything. It's the freedom of the mind. It means liberating ourselves from worries, doubts, insecurities, or negative emotions. From there, we can experience inner peace, comfort, and happiness in every moment of life. I know that in our lives there are many important values that we always strive for. But for me, Freedom remains one of the most important priorities to pursue. Of course, life is surrounded by freedom that is not always as rosy as we think, because freedom also implies self-discipline and a higher level of responsibility to oneself. The pressure to compete for survival in the modern world makes people bear many constraints. We are constantly imposed upon by others' thoughts and prejudices, being told how we should live and what we should do. And certainly, from a certain perspective, this is necessary. But when we have to live under too many such constraints, we tend to suppress our true selves. Consequently, we can no longer speak our minds, live as we wish, or express our true selves authentically. Therefore, freedom plays the role of a promise of liberation, a guarantee that we can break free from unwarranted constraints. From there, we can enjoy life in the lightest, carefree, and most peaceful way. Through today's video, we have explored the inspirational advice of Stoicism, helping you find the value of your own life. And if you find the content we shared useful, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to continue journeying with us in the future. Thank you for watching our video, and see you in the upcoming ones. Uh.